label and a talented musician from Markham, Ontario, who's making his mark on the music scene. He plays the drums, bass, guitar, piano, and sings, but piano came first. For me, uh, piano has always been, like, always there for me, you know, and always there in my life. In high school, you know, it went from playing piano to, you know, watching movies and seeing a guitar player and, you know, seeing singers and, you know, wanting to try that as well. Well, I listened to Jimi Hendrix for the first time and absolutely fell in love. And then I saw him for the first time, and then I realized he looked like me. The 30-year-old's intro to music came from his father, and his father was introduced to music by his father. Well, my dad inspired me, and I started music at a really early age because he was kind of a bit of draconian that his son would play music and play music really well. Fast forward to today, Eddie Quincy's father is a Juno Award winner, a music producer, owns a studio called Thunderdome Sounds, and has produced more than 200 albums, including Quincy's three albums on Q, Quantumplations, and Poise Debris. I just never did anything else in my life. I've never worked as anything else but as a musician and in the arts. So for me, those are, those are my, my humble beginnings. In addition to Quincy playing solo, he also plays shows worldwide with his dad called Dueling Pianos, father and son. And that's not all. His brother Trey Michael Bullen, who plays the drums, joins them on other shows as well. We call it the Fam Jam. And he plays drums, Quincy sings, plays guitar, I play keyboard and left hand bass. And um, we have a, another gentleman who's, who's immigrated from Grenada, and he joins us as well too. It's been a lot of, it's been a lot of us in a car just driving together um, to auditions just to get something and and to performances and since I was a kid. So it's been a long road to now be here. If you'd like to watch Quincy, he will be joining a few other artists at the Lula Lounge on February 23rd for an event called Lula Reggae Blues Review, which celebrates Black History Month. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.